Hi everybody, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all having a blessed day. Happy Wednesday. This is crochet time and I'm here to make the adorable crochet cotton candies. So first I want to show you what I was working on last night. I made myself a rascog, you call it. And it's so cute. I'm so excited that I got to make it. I put a lot of the things that I've been working on or finding as I'm packing up my craft room. All the little uh, B uh, plastic resin type things are all from BB Craft. And I made these bows. You saw me make these. And let's see if I can get a little closer. These are my balloon embellishments, which will be for sale. All the roses on the end, these uh, pink, gray, and white were given to me by my bestie Patricia over in Holland. Uh, she gave me that package of flowers. Oof, 10 years ago, I think, and I've been hoarding it and hoarding and hoarding. I said, it has to be the right project. And you saw me post on uh, Instagram with my rosettes. These are the new tea roses. You see, and you've seen me make some other flowers. I found these when I was packing up. And uh, same thing for that side. And then we have my uh, crochet butterflies, my crochet flowers, my crochet teacups, and I'm just so excited. I haven't decided, I'm, I'm going to try to find some really pretty letters here to spell out Lori. Um, and then you see I made, oops. this is what we're going to be making today. Isn't it cute? I love it. I didn't have any jump rings, sorry. So I just attached it with the eye pin and a butterfly and a little bit of crochet thread. Adorable, right? So this project uh, was, I have watched the tutorial and I followed along with her actually three times. I watched the video as I was making this. Um, I think the original person is Amy L, but I watched Chris, Christiane's Crafty Adventures, and I'll try and link that below if I can. Uh, thanks to my bestie Donna, hey girlfriend, Donna Jackson, let's grab some more. Uh, she told me I needed to load the YouTube Studio app on my phone so that I can do editing and I'm so excited because I went into one of my videos and it was like yes I can edit so I'm gonna try to upload the video and then attach her tutorial into my video today so let's get oh and I wanted to show you move this out of the way This uh, paper, as you can see, it's like the gold foiled, and then inside it's gold, and on the bottom it's just plain. This this paper was a hot buy. I had to get it when I saw it. This is oof, maybe a year or half ago or whatever. It was a hot buy. It was the Marrakesh, and I'll just do a flip through for you some of the pages I've already used. There's that page. Isn't that gorgeous? And it only takes three 12 by 12 sheets of paper. So I used this one. The shiny one for the the trays. Isn't it pretty? I love this paper. I'm going to make more things for my new craft room with it has the cutter parts, but the cutter parts were too big for my uh, cart, but I will be using them. This is the other marble sheet. It doesn't have the gold foil, so that's what I used on the inside uh, lids of the 
trays and pretty so that was our inside of our tray and this one I used a piece of already look at these pretty cut parts so pretty and I cut this one here to, to be, go on the back of my uh, chalkboard sign I love all these it's so like so positive that things and look at that sheet. I've used the, the one piece of this already. And it's very, very thick paper. I think this is like 110 maybe. Mm. It doesn't say, but it feels like 110 uh, cardstock. Okay, so let's get started. I'm so excited. So these are what we're going to be making today. Let me zoom you in a little bit now. Cute. Oops. Too far. Aren't they cute? Sorry, man. It's on my right side. I don't know. This is. So yesterday, if you saw my Instagram, I went to a new dollar store near my house. And I got these gold straws. I love them. And then I also got the dowels. And then I had bubble straws. Um, Christian, Christian uses uh, like skewers. And uh, I came up kind of with a different uh, format to mine. I actually cut the... Uh, she uses paper to make these little things to attach it to the the cart together, but I used these, and then I used a piece of paper in the middle to be able to stick it together so my plastic wouldn't melt. So unfortunately, I wish that these uh, dowels were like eight in a pack. I could have got two carrots for you know one dollar of dowels, but that's okay. Okay, I'm using my Maggie Holmes, and I'm going to be using these letterings right here. Love it. And you need some uh, pearls. These were from my bestie in Huntington Beach. Hated that. And I used one of the Christmas globes so it can just sit on my desk. That beautiful, uh, crafty yumminess from Dollar Tree. And I was bought this out today. I'm gonna stick all the cotton candies when we're done. This is the yarn from the Dollar Tree. And the crochet hook is very small, guys. It's very, very small. 1.75. And if you can see, it's very small. But you could do it with any if you use a bigger hook, you're probably not going to need as many rounds. So I have my piece of my yarn made. I already did the straws. I just cut the straw uh, in thirds. So you get three, three of cotton candies from one straw. And then I just glued the pearl on the bottom. To glue the pearl... Bleh. To glue the pearl on the bottom, I used the Aline's white tacky glue, and then to use the um, to glue the cotton candies because uh, I did some with the other ones in it. There was glue on my fingers, and then the glue made the cotton candy kind of like darkish. I don't know; it, it didn't look right. So I went. I'm going to go to use this one. So let's get started. Lower you down a little bit. I think that's gonna be good. Okay. So let me just grab myself some yarn. I hope you're all doing well. Um, if you have members of your family who are dealing with COVID or maybe passed away, I'm really so sorry. 
I know one of our, our crafty friends, her sister-in-law just passed away, but I don't know if she wants me to share her name. Um, but just keep her in your prayers, please. Okay, so we are just like, um, just like when we do these flowers, same technique. We are going to make a loop, a little bunny here, put our hook in, and now we're going to chain, oh, and I want to show you the difference. Now, you can see a little bit of the difference here. This one is 35 loops, this one is 45 loops, so this, um, I think the 45 is, is cuter, but if you need something smaller, go with 35. Okay, so we are going to chain 45. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, and 45. So this, put your thumb like right here to hold it so you know that that's the chain you're going to go back in on. Now we need a little, just a little small bump here for the top. So we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. And then we're going to come back and put our hook in right where that 45 was. And you're just going to draw up and through. Now we got this little piece right there to go on top of the straw. Chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip one and go in the next one and slip stitch it through. And now you've got your first loop. Okay, we're going to continue all the way across. Two, three, four, and five. Skip one. The next one. Pull through. Tighten your yarn. Again, one, two, three, and four, and five. Skip one. Put your hook in the next one. Hold it. Pull it through. Tighten your yarn. See? It's already starting to curve too. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip one. Look in the next one. Hold it. Pull it through. Pull your yarn down. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip. Next one. Pull it. Pull through. Pull your yarn down. One, two, three, and four, and five. It gets curly, so just kind of straighten it out so you can see where you're going. So, this is our first one. So, we're going to go in the next one and pull through. One, two, three, four. Five. You can make a whole bunch of these. I think they're so cute to give to somebody. One, two, three, four, five. You can make them into charms. I'm going to have one of my Julie Nutting dolls holding one. I think it's going to be so cute. Okay, continue. One, two, three, four and five, skip, skip 
good one. Go in the next one. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip one. Go in the next one. One, two, three, four, and five. We're almost there. We're less than halfway. Two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip, insert, through, tighten. One, two, three, and four, and five. Insert. One, two, three, and four, and five. This you could use it as on a journal. If you didn't want to make the you know, how to make the single down the sign of a spine would be like really cute. A bookmark. Four and five. One, two, three. And five. One, two, three, almost there. Four and five. Two more. One, two, three, and four and five. One, two, three, and four, and five. One more. Last one. One, two, three, and four, and last stitch, five. We'll go right in that last one. Draw it through. And there we go. Scissors. These were my mom's. Hi, Mom. And then cut. And pull it through. And give it a tug. Now we gotta loop these yarns through. A couple of them I made previously. I didn't do that. And it was so hard at the bottom that like you saw the, the things, the tails. So I'm just gonna go in. Bring it through. Trying to hide it. And that way when we roll, we won't see it. Now we can cut the tail shorter. Okay. Now, just to show you, uh, this was the eye pin I had. These butterflies were from. Remember, Michaels used to have that big container of all the silver and gold, uh, look like metal embellishments. So there it is, that one. Okay, let's go back and find our little three point right here. And grab our glue. Generous amount. And go along the post three. And grab our straw. Oh. Grab our straw. And put that on top and then just pinch this together kind of makes the top of the cotton candy and 
and then wrap it around so you get like a little bud. Now if you want to make it a charm, then you will glue your, your butterfly right in there. But I'm going to wait till the end. So if you're using, you could use hot glue, but I don't recommend it. One, it'll, it won't dry really nice and it'll mess up your straw. So, okay, kind of get it straightened out. And come down and put a heavy bead of glue all along that chain stitch. And then you're just going to start wrapping. Okay. And you just wrap. And get your, your base made. Okay. Get your top. Just kind of like fluff it together. And come back down your chain. Work little pieces because you know you don't want to have too much. Wrap it around, bring it together, make sure it's having a nice shape. Okay, wrap it around. And try to keep your layers nice. Come down, wrap it around. Okay, keep wrapping. A little bit more glue. And wrap it around. Push it together. Almost done. A little bit more. Wrap it around. And give it some shape. Make sure it's uniformed. And here we are at the end. Be generous and well. And then wrap it around. And now you can play with the shape. Make sure it looks good from all sides. Usually where you're going to wrap this one, this is going to be your back. So. Okay. That one won't show too much. There we go, everybody. Isn't that cute? Cute, good, good. Okay, so I'm going to find my back. Because it's like they're usually that open space. Put some, put some glue. Grab your tie. And the table. Lay your string down. Make sure the, tip, the furry part's at the bottom. And lay it halfway, and you're just going to give it a tie and a knot. Pull it on that glue, could leave something today, <laughs> and then push it up inside that glue. Turn it over and then just tie it again and uh, to the front. One. And two. So cute. Okay, I'm going to grab our stickers. And uh, I guess I'll use uh, Sunny Day. I think that's cute. Sorry, I'm just trying to get it off. Okay. And you could use those gold foil ones too. And just put some glue. And turn it over. And then we'll just lay it right on there. Cute. What do you think, everybody? It's 
so cute. So you see there's a big difference when it's the 40, the 45, and then you add the 3. It just makes it nicer, but that's still okay. Since this one is smaller, I'm going to use the D. The, the pin, the, the little charm. I'm, I, I can't find my jump rings, so I uh, see how this one is like opening a little bit. So I'm just going to put some glue in there. Put some glue on the end of this. And then a little bit. top to hold the bead in. I'm just going to stick that right down in the straw. And then push the yarn around the butterfly. And there you go. You can add your jump ring so you can dangle it from a journal. Or you can do your own rascog. Hang it on your own rascog. So there you go everybody. I'm so glad you joined me today, and I will be back. I have um, boxed, uh, uh, boxed, packaged up all my uh, embellishments and my flowers for sale, and I am going to try to come back in a little bit after my phone charges and try to do my very first live so that I can just keep going and going and showing you all the flowers and embellishments for sale. So God bless everybody. Be safe. Wear a mask. And I will see you soon. Bye. Have a blessed day. Please like and subscribe.